Hi, Renee McLaughlin here. In this video, I'm going to give you some great pointers and tips on how to do a plank on the ground. We're going to do it both with straight arms and I'm going to show you how to do it modified on your forearms. We're going to do them straight legs and with bent. Let me just share with you a couple of things before we get down here. A lot of us have very weak or sore wrists. And so if you want to go straight and not have so much pressure on your wrist, this is what we're going to do. We're going to jazz the fingers, really spread the fingers wide. And then with our palms, we're going to create a suction cup. Can you see what I did? I'll do it kind of this way too. Suction. So you're going to kind of pull up, creating a suction cup with your palms. That way, when the arms are down and your weight is here, with the suction, it takes a lot of pressure off your wrist. Okay. Next thing I want to show is that when I'm in that plank position, I'm going to say connect to your tail, tail, and think about pulling your tail down towards your heels. So I know a lot of people will say tuck curl, and I'll show you why it's not exactly a tuck curl, although if that's the words you need to connect to it, you can try that. But in actuality, you're pulling that down towards your heels. And notice when you pull down towards your heels and the tail, automatically it's going to draw your belly in. All right, let's get started. I like to get started in a way that's really easy for us to get in without hurting anything. So you might want to start with your feet hip width apart. I'm just going to put my hands to start above my knees and I'm going to kind of arch out almost like I'm doing a squat. My tail is up. I'm trying not to bring my knees too far forward. And then I'm going to hinge down from the waist and I'm going to bring my arms essentially wrist underneath my shoulder, wrist underneath my shoulder. And then I'm going to begin to walk my arms out. Now notice as I do that, I'm going to shift my weight over so my shoulders are over my wrists. My fingers are wide. I'm creating a suction cup. Now see how my tail is still up? In this position, once I get my arms there, then I'm going to walk my feet back a little further. My tail is still up, and now I'm going to take my hips. I'm going to lift them just so you can see, and I'm going to drop them down. So now, notice how I'm going to drop a knee. That is a straight line, essentially. Make sure you watch your neck, so notice where you have to look. Don't look, lift your head, and don't drop it. All those different ways will put tension on the neck. So see, where can you be? Where can you look? To keep that neck in alignment. Now once you get there, then you're going to come to here and you can see how it's a straight line. Tip to my top of my head to my tail. Now we were talking about the tail. Here's why I said I don't particularly want you to tuck. So here's a tuck. So actually can you see it's going to lift also your rib cage if you do that. So I'm going to come back down and I'm just going to think tail down towards my heels. It may not even seem like much, but when it happens, you're going to feel your belly draw in. All right, so before we go further, I want to show you also shoulder blades. Here's where you sink down between your shoulder blades, allowing them to come to the spine. Not good. Press the palms down into the ground and lengthen through your shoulder blades. Now with your breath, your tail is down. Do an inhale into your belly. Exhale, draw the belly in and up. See if you can hold that. Your next breath is going to be into your rib cage, east-west. You'll feel the ribs flare out to the side and then exhale, knit them together. So do another deep breath. Exhale, knit them together. And you could be shaking by now, because I know I am. Now when it gets to be too much, you can drop your knees down, okay, and be there. And then when it's time, you've had enough, you think you can come back up, you just lift back up again. Another thing you can do is press through the heels and come back onto your toes. So I like to do that a few times as well. All right, now I'm going to drop my knees. I'm going to lift my tail to come out of this, and I'm going to shift my hips back. And that feels really nice. I might even put my big toe ball joints together and have my knees come out wider and then go into a really lovely, relaxed child's pose and roll up. 
So that's a great way to do a plank. Now, if that was still too much on your wrist, no worries. We can do the same thing on our forearms and you can even intertwine your hands. Some people like to put it into a fist. I'm gonna do it intertwined. I'm going to go back up to how I was, just so you get a sense of it. One more time, putting the hands here, coming on down. You're first going to walk yourself out and then maybe drop your knees so that you're not going to have any problems with your wrists. Come on down onto your forearms, intertwining your hands. So once again, the shoulders are still right over the wrist. You're still not sinking between the shoulder blades. You're pulling up. You're going to have your elbows wide enough so that they're right underneath your shoulders. And then you can go one leg at a time. Draw it up. Draw it up. Now, drop your hips. Tail to heels, belly in, head in alignment. You see, I look down, that's my tendency, so I have to really play with this. This is intense, you guys, I'm shaking. So inhale into the belly, exhale, pulling it in. Now inhale into your rib cage, exhale, and here's where you're planking from. So it is very intense and you can tell that we're working every muscle. But through our plank challenge, we'll just hold it to start just 20 seconds and 20 seconds and then we'll add from there. Drop your knees, shift your hips back to come out of it. Good work. Again, if you want to keep your big toe ball joints together, bring your legs wide. You can come over into this position and drop and curl yourself on up. So that's just a great way to do a plank, watching shoulder blades don't sink, watch that the hips aren't up and they're not sinking down. Think about curl, curling or pulling that tail down to your heels. Yes, let's do this. 